प्रिय विद्यार्थियों आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे शॉर्ट स्टोरी द ड्रोवर्स वाइफ बाय हेनरी लॉसन हमेशा की तरह पहले हम बात करेंगे अबाउट द ऑथर हेनरी आर्चीबोल्ट हर्स बर्ग लॉसन एटीन सिक्सटी सेवन टू नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू वॉज ए रिनाउट राइटर एंड पोएट फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑफन कॉल्ड वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर्स ऑफ द अर्ली ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी He was born in a town on the green fell gold fields of New South Wales, Australia. Henry Lawson studied in Irondale but left school because of a severe ear infection which made him partially deaf later however under the guidance of his poetry teacher mr kevin he cultivated an interest in reading in his new school at mudgee the australian magazine The Bulletin published Lawson's poem Song of the Republic in 1887 This was his first publication and many more to follow His prose is partially noted for its perfect representation of the australian bush the loneliness and harshness which sets in it apart from other gentle landscapes his major works include short stories in prose and verse humorous verses in the days when the world was white and other verses among others so henry lawson belong to australia the drover's wife is a dramatic short story by the australian writer henry lawson it recounts the story of an outback woman left alone with her four children in an isolated hut now about the story the drover's wife A woman in the outback is isolated in a small hut with her four children. Her he- husband has been away droving for 6 months and near sunset one day a snake disappears under the house. The children are put to bed and the woman waits with her dog alligator for the snake to reappear near dawn the snake emerges and it is killed by the woman and the dog it shows the struggle of a lone woman against nature the drover's wife is a short story written by henry lawson published in 1892 in bulletin an australian weekly magazine 
with a great influence on culture in politics until world war first lawson is considered one of the best known writers of the colonial period but he is also often placed among the greatest australian writer lawson's short story was written during the colonial period but its central theme of a lone woman on the farm seems to be no importance to the post colonial studies but once the story is subjected to the post colonial reading and interpretation one will find convert elements in the underlying structure that give an insight to the perspective of the settlers and their attitude towards the natives this is the main focus of the seminar which will attempt to reveal possible unwitting elements of the story and interpret it in terms of post colonial theory now the summary of the story the drovers wife the story the drovers wife is probably the best known work of lawson and was published in the collection entitled while the billy boils in 1892 this story shows the life conditions and struggles of a housewife whose husband is a drover being left on her own the drover's wife develops resilience against the hardships she has to face over the years in her lonely surroundings the story begins with a description of the little house where the bush woman lives with her four children surrounded by the bush on all sides her husband is away droving again leaving them alone so the story opens with the drover's wife and her children alone in their house in the bush one of the children discovers a snake and calls for the mother the bush woman reaches for her stick and rushes to her children but meanwhile the snake hides in a hole between the wall and the floor so this is the story of a lonely woman her husband is away droving again leaving them alone they are isolated from any other human company because the nearest house is 19 miles away the children then spot a snake and a young mother jumps to action her first inst- instinct is to grab her youngest baby alligator their dog pounces on the snake but comes away disappointed she takes measure measures to protect her children and defend themselves against the snake as she waits she starts to recall several dangerous situations she had to face throughout the years when her husband was away with the sheep she fought bush fire flood dangerous man and even illness that spread among the cattle she is mostly content but still feels isolated dreaming of the fashion pictures in her ladies magazine
while guarding her children during the night the drover's wife ponders over the hardship she has faced in the absence of her husband she remembers the death of one of her children she also recalls enduring a flood and serious illness among the little livestock they owned as well as the fire that almost destroyed her home finally the snake comes out and she immediately crushes the snake to death with her club through all the hardships of the events the drover's wife seems to be content with her lot and in the end becomes happy when her son tommy as he promises that he would never abandon her and go droving this so this story the drover's wife is one of the most famous short stories set in australian bush it is the tale of a woman facing off against a snake in order to protect herself and her children the char- character scotism and quiet heroism as well as the naturalistic depiction of the wild hostile bush have cemented the story's critical and popular approbation the drover's wife featuring a woman standing in the foreground of the picture plane with a man wagon and horses in the background the landscape is barren painted in oaks and grays other australian fiction writers including barbara jeffies and damin bordy have been inspired by the piece and have written their own vacation so this is the story of a woman the drover's wife